everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So here we are given a second order linear differential equation and we are going to give, solve the given equation using reduction of order method. Let's get going. Problem. Solve x squared y double dash plus x y dash minus 9y equals to 0 given that y equals to x cube is a solution. So we are given y equal to x cube is a solution of a given problem, right? So... We need to find general solution, but here we are given y equal to x cube, so it is not necessary to find the part of complementary function of the given equation. So here we are not going to use inspection method to find the part of CF of given equation. Given differential equation. x square y double dash plus x y dash minus 9y equal to 0. Now we have to write the given differential equation in standard form. For that purpose, we'll make the quotient of y double dash to unity. So we'll just multiply the whole equation with 1 by x or divide the whole equation with x square. Or simply split the equation to 2. I mean in LHS equals to RHS form and then you can divide both sides of the equation with this x square or multiply both sides of the equation with x square. Sorry, 1 by x square. Okay. If you're having or if you split the equation like this, now we can multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x square or divide both sides of the equation with x square. I'll write directly y double dash plus x y x square into y dash minus 9 by x square into y equal to 0. 1x gets cancelled from the second term. We'll get y double dash plus 1 by x into y dash minus 9 by x square into y equal to 0. Now we have to reduce the given differential equation to a standard form. Okay. Consider it as equation number 1. Now compare 1 with standard form of second order linear differential equation. y double dash plus py dash plus qy equal to r. We have just compare these two equations, then we'll get p equal to 1 by x, q equal to minus 9 by x square, and r equal to 0. Therefore, y equal to x cube is a solution. So here, it is not necessary. To find the part of CF of 1. Let y equal to uv be the general solution of One. See, already we are having u, which is x cube. If u equal to x cube, then du by dx will be, or the derivative of u with respect to x will be 3x squared. Just differentiate on both sides with respect to x. We'll get du by dx equals to Derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x squared, right? But we need to find v. Then v is given by Y 
d square v by dx square plus b plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider it as equation 2. Now substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u in this equation. From that we will get capital V and from capital V we will find small v and later we will write in the or we will substitute u v in the general solution formula y equal to u v. Fine. Here we are given y equal to x square is a solution. I will show you how we are saying y equal to x cube is a solution. We are given equation x square y double dash plus x y dash minus 9y equal to 0, right? Now let's find y dash and y double dash because we are having y equal to x cube, right? We are having y equal to x cube and we already got y dash which is 3x square. Now find y double dash which is equal to 3 to the 6 x. Now take the LHS part x square y double dash plus x y dash minus 9 y will get just replace y double dash y dash and y will get x square into y double dash is 6 x plus x into y dash 3 x square minus 9 into y is x cube which is equal to 6 x square into x is 6 x cube plus 3 x into x square is x cube minus 9 x cube which is equals to 6 x cube plus 3 x cube is 9 x cube right minus 9 x cube which is 0 right so here we can say that y equal to x cube satisfies this equation so y equal to x cube is a solution right but this is not enough here we need to find the general solution of the given equation okay so let's find general solution now just substitute p u du by dx r and u in equation 2 we'll get d square v by dx square plus p 1 by x plus 2 by u x cube into du by dx 3x square into dv by dx equal to r by u this equation becomes d square v by dx square plus 1 by x plus 2 3 is a 6 so here x square gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator will get 6 by x into dv by dx equal to 0. Then d square v by dx square plus 1 by x plus 6 by x is 7 by x into dv by dx equal to 0. Just take the LCM of x and x, which is x, add 1 plus x, we'll get 7 by x. Or take 1 by x common from these two terms, we'll get like 1 by x times 1 plus x, 6, which is 7. Right? Fine. Now let dv by dx equals to capital B. Then d square v by dx square equal to d capital V by dx. Then the above equation becomes dv by dx plus 7 by x into v equal to 0. Let's now separate the variables. In order to separate the variables, I'll take the second term to RHS. We we'll get dv by dx equal to minus 7 by x into v. Now, bring this capital V to LHS and take the differential dx to RHS. We'll get 1 by V dV equal to minus 7 by x into dx. So, here the variables are separable, right? Let's perform 
integration. Integral 1 by v dv equal to minus 7 integral 1 by x dx. From this we will get log mod v equal to minus 7 log mod x plus integral constant say c1. Or we can write it as log v equal to minus 7 log x plus here we are having two terms in log right. So, we can write the constant C1 in terms of log, right, log C1. Then, log V equal to, we know that M log N can be written as log N power M. Then, we can write minus log X as, I mean minus 7 log X as log X power minus 7, right. And also we know that log a plus log b can be written as log a b. Then we can write log x for minus 7 into log, sorry, plus log c1 as log x for minus 7 into c1. We know that if log a equal to log b, then a equal to b. So, we'll use this and we'll write the equation as b equal to x power minus 7 into c1. Since we know that x power minus n can be written as 1 by x power n, then we'll write x power minus 7 as 1 by x power 7 into c1 which is c1 into x power 7. So now we are having capital V equal to c1 by x power 7 right. Since we know that capital V equal to d small v by dx write or replace capital V with differential dv by dx or differential dx then we will get dv by dx equals to c1 by x power 7. Now we will separate the variables. In order to separate the variables, we will take the differential dx to RHS. We will get dv equals to c1 into 1 by x power 7 into dx. Okay. Or instead of writing x power minus 7 as 1 by x power 7, just leave x power minus 7 like this. Okay. Because from here we are going to perform integration. There we will write 1 by x power 7 as x power minus 7. Okay, instead of changing here, we can leave x power minus 7 as it is. Right? I am not going to change x power minus 7. Or, already I have changed. So, I will just continue. I will just go with the flow. C1 into x power minus 7 into dx. Okay. You can write directly x power minus 7. You, there is no necessary, I mean there is no necessity to change x power minus 7 as 1 by x power 7. Okay. Fine. Now I will perform integration. Integral dv equal to c1 integral x power minus 7 into dx. From this we will get v equal to c1 x power minus 7 plus 1 by minus 7 plus 1 plus integral constant c2. Since we know that integral x power n dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 for n not equal to minus 1. So if we want to perform or if we want to apply this formula, we need to get n which is not equals to minus 1. Here in our problem, we are having n equal to minus 7 which is not minus 1. So, we can apply this formula here. Okay. Now, this becomes v equal to c1 into x power minus 7 plus 1 is minus 6 by minus 6 plus c2. Then, v becomes c1 into I split 
x power minus 6 by minus 1 as 1 by x power minus 6 into x power minus 6 plus c1, sorry, c2, which is equal to c1 into minus 1 by 6 into, we can write x power minus 6 as 1 by x power 6 plus c2, right? So we got v, which is equal to minus c1 by 6 into 1 by x power 6 plus c2. We got V and already we have U. So now we can write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by Y equal to UV. Then Y equal to U, which is X cube into V is minus C1 by 6 into 1 by X power 6 plus C2. Then y becomes minus c1 by 6 into x cube by x power 6 plus c2 x cube. This equals to minus c1 by 6 into 3x gets cancelled from the numerator and denominator. We'll get 1 by x cube plus c2 x cube. Or we can write minus c1 by 6 as some c1 dash. We can name it with another constant. Say c1 dash equals to minus c1 by 6. Then we'll get c1 dash into 1 by x cube plus c2 x cube. Or we can just leave it with minus c1 by 6. Okay. Or we can write minus c1 by 6 as c1 also. Instead of naming it with c1 dash, we can just write it as c1. Okay. So this completes the problem. Therefore, y equal to minus c1 by 6 into 1 by x cube plus c2 x cube or y equal to c1 dash into 1 by x cube plus c2 x cube or y equal to c1 into 1 by x cube plus c2 x cubed.